Hello boys and girls. I am on a new permission. It's land owned by my normal farmer friend, uh, but this one has just recently been harvested, a bit earlier than I thought, but it's more land than I thought. I really, there really is. If I, at the moment, I'm in this little one here. You know, I could probably grid this one and do this one properly. Then over there through that gate, you got uh, another field. Then if you go up through this little lane here, there's two or three fields up there. Then I've got this big one. And then down there, over the hedge, there's another field over there, and that one is massive. Um, so at the moment, I'm like a dog between four trees. I don't know which one to cock my leg on. Um, there's just so much to go out here, and I know there's just so little time. So what we're gonna do is probably do a bit of random walking and see what uh, each one sort of like feels like. You know, if I start to get good stuff off the one, then I'll stick on that one and we'll just go play it by ear really. Anyway, let's chit chat, more digging. I'll see you at the first decent hole, all right? See you in a bit. All right, first target on the new permission was ringing around about 17 and it's in here. Oh, that ain't bad. Started off with a buckle by the looks of it. And looking a little bit corroded, but I'll be careful with that. Well, there you go. Look at that. It's a nice little buckle there. Um, sweet. I think it's got some sort of a little legend pattern around it, but I'll have to get that on and clean it up. Um, if I find there, you can see a little bit there where the buckle pin would have been we'll give it a clean up and uh, you'll see the clean image now oh and that's the next hole all right next target was coming in around about 14 to 15 and um, i was added a guess and said it's probably off a racing pigeon um wales 1990 jesus he's been lost a long time um then you have a code like that yeah, I'd probably say that's off a racing pigeon or something. Right, we'll see you the next hole. Right, um, we've done the little little field, uh, and that's what you saw I've had. Um, I basically follow the pattern of uh, a Union Jack, which is sort of like around the outside, across the corners, up and across, uh, to try and find a sweet spot. And then once I've done that, I did a bit of random walking in amongst the areas I hadn't covered. Uh, quite easy to do on that one because it is so small. But now we're uh, we're going to cross over and we're into this one here, so it's a bit bigger. Uh, they haven't stacked the bales like they have in the first field, uh, but uh, since we're parked here closer, um, say he's having a walk all the way down there. Uh, so we'll get on with this one, and uh, hopefully uh, we can do just as well as in the little one. I know we only got a couple of little bits, but to start off with buckle is pretty good. So let's just chat more digging. I'll see you at the next decent signal. See you in a bit. Right. Twenty seven. Too good not to do on a live dig. Please don't be a can. <laughs> I think I've uh, had enough of cans of lately. Still in the ground. So we're like, uh, normally you can tell if it's a coin, it's, uh, you catch the edge of it and you can tell that can rubbing on you. Stony. Huh. 
nothing great after all. It's kind of I don't know, screw it to summer anyway, but uh, great, that was it. Oh well, we'll see you in the next hole. Right, I'm already starting to have a bit more confidence about this area. So I rang up a, a 19, and that looks to me like that could be a spindle whirl. Yeah. We're going to... Something to put the dirt out. There we go. There's a, it's a lovely little spindle whirl that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm feeling a lot better about this one. Really uncompared to his other fields. But that is lovely that. Alright, what I'll do is I'll get it home and I'll uh, clean it in some nice warm soapy water. And I'll put a picture up now and we'll see it the next hole. Right, what we got here is something that I don't often see in many farmers' fields. So we've got a public footpath style there, look. And he has literally left a root in just grass. Goes over to the next one. So normally farmers will plough all this right over. Um, and you, they just leave it to com people's common sense as to where the public footpath is. But this... It's been clearly marked out. So, with it clearly marked out in nowhere, people are going to be walking or would have been walking in the past. So we're going to do a little bit of this area and see what we can find out. And we'll see you at the uh, first decent signal on this bit. Well, like with all footpaths, you're going to find some of this because people find it easier just to drop their bloody rubbish and to uh, take it back home with them. So. First bit of crap really, had a few bits of molten metal and stuff like that but this is like modern crap that you don't really want to find. So we'll fill that all in and uh, we'll see the next one. Right, got a toe in here. Um, about a 20. And uh, it's right there. It looks like a ring. No, it's not. To scrape away, it's the right in. I'll tell you now, that's an old pound coin. There we go, an old pound coin. Well, it's bankable anyway. But uh, yeah, on a public footpath. So, if you've got any public footpaths going through your permissions, I'd uh, try and spot out where they actually are if the farmer hasn't uh, left them marked. But uh, Never know what you could uh, find on them. Right, so we ain't got much to show so far, but uh, it's already a better field than uh, some of the other ones. Right, we'll carry on and we'll see you at the next hole. Right, uh, I think I've got the top of a spoon or fork there. Don't think it's silver. Um, probably just stainless steel. Well, not even that, to be honest. Look at the state of it. Um, maybe the other bit somewhere around here, who knows. Um, right, put that in the uh, pot and we'll uh, see it the next hole. Right, next signal coming in at 22, I think it's another spindle whirl. Yeah, I think it is. So we've got anything bloody strong enough to put the dirt out. Yeah, so that's another spindle wheel. I don't think I've ever had two of those in one day before. All right, what we'll do is we'll give it a clean up at home as usual. And if there's any nice detail in on it, I'll uh, pull it up now. And right, we'll see you at the next one. Uh, next find. Uh, I can't even remember what it's ringing up as now. Uh, ringing up as a nine. Uh, back a button, a little button, nothing on the front and a broken shank. So we'll move on and we'll see at the next. Got another blank button ringing up as a 12 with a broken shank on it, so nothing in there really. 
Right, we'll keep moving on, see in a bit. Well, I got a nice, it was a nice banging signal of about 25, so I dug it up. Now, I know it's a cap off summer, and yeah, it's probably rubbish, but when you get stuff like this, it intrigues me to actually what it is. So, I'm not going to throw that one away, I'm going to take it home, I'm going to probably you know, give it a little bit more of a cleaner and then do a bit of research and see what it actually is. Somebody will probably know what it is and put it in the comments anyway, but um, it'd be interesting. I like, I like finding little things like this that have actually, you know, got origins on. So, nothing on the back side, but uh, yeah, interesting. Alright, we'll keep holding on and we'll see it the next hole. Well, without uh, having to take it home to clean it, um, I think it's something to do with uh, veterinary services. It's got the chemist on there. That's another one I've just found. So at least I know what it is anyway. Right, see you in the next. Right, uh, got myself a nice banging signal. About 27. It's out. I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> I think it's a coin, but what is it? See, it's bloody toasted. I don't mean, there's much to get off that one. Um, Is it? it? Looks like there's something arched at the top there. Um, what I'll do is we'll give this a clean up at home, and uh, if it's anything nice, I'll put a picture up now. Other than that, we'll see you at the next hole. All right, ringing in at 18 to 19 is a uh, bullet tip. It's a single ring, but it's it. Nice bit of history. Right, we're moving on. See the next one. Uh, can't remember what this said. This one was. Uh, I was ringing up uh, an 18, uh, either a button or part of a doorknob, a uh, draw knob or something. Right, moving on. All right, popping up as a 14. <laughs> Not the sort of coins I want to be looking for in the uh, field. Uh, don't mind finding them on the beach, but uh, modern 50p. So it's spendable anyway, but I'd rather find the pre decimal stuff when I'm in the field and save the spendables uh, for the beaches. Right, moving on. Right, we've got something round here, ringing at a 19. <laughs> button with uh, possible silver guild on it um, well, I'll take that on get that clean up and see if there's anything uh, other than that on there right moving on I've right, got this at 11 little nobbles on it I don't know what it could be nothing on the other side I presume it's lead but I'm not risking to bend it to see um, but um, we do we give that a bit of a clean with some warm soapy water, and uh, we'll pull a bit a better picture of it up now. How was that? We'll see you in a bit. Uh, right, it may not look like it on the camera, but it's starting to get a bit dark now. Um, and I know it's getting dark when the phone don't want to focus in properly. Um, yeah, just a blank button, broken shank on the back. Uh, we're pretty close to the uh, pretty close to the um, car now, so we're going to be ain't going to be much chance of getting anything else. Got about maybe fifty yards. Right, if there is anything, we'll pull it on. If not, uh, we'll see you at the outro. Right, uh, well, we're finishing it in here. It's uh, about half past eight now, so I've probably been out for about three hours. 
and I've enjoyed today after the recent couple of the hunts that I've had it uh, this one was a lot better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you down to all the crap that I had to find to get all those good bits uh, so let's take a look now then right uh, so basically you got uh, part of a doorknob bloody thing uh, bit of aluminium or something uh, those bits of things that tab uh, a couple of plain broken buttons bits of lead Various other bits and bobs like that. Uh, not too much crap. I think it's uh, evened it out for the interesting finds all I had. Um, so yeah, so you know, when you're coming into this hobby, don't expect it to be gold and silver just like that, or even if you've got a nice historical uh, ground with lots of history in the area. It don't necessarily mean you're gonna get the good stuff. Because as you've seen in my last couple of videos, I dug up a lot of trash and didn't get a lot in return for it um, so if you're new into this hobby uh, please be patient with it you know the rewards are out right there but you've got to stick at it anyway don't forget to check out unearth uk visit their website and see what offers they got on if there's nothing on there particularly takes your fancy visit, you know give them a ring you know quote discount code dark knight for 10 percent off eligible items that is ring and quote dark knight for 10 percent off eligible items Anyway, it's getting dark. I've taken about 10 different attempts to try and do this little bit of an outro. Uh, I'm gonna go home. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're uh, new to uh, watching my channel, don't forget, subscribe, it's free. Doesn't cost you a penny. Anyway, ta-la, I'm off. I'll see you again, all right, ta-la.